what's up how are you guys we're gonna try to do an actual quick day of eating because i think last week's video was almost 20 minutes long for liver detox of course you got to start today with a quarter pound of prosciutto getting back to my italian roots now instead of pancakes i just need like an organic biscotti or something and then it'll be really uh, really really italian breakfast so for the liver detox we got our base of protein nutrition we have our bulk starch and fiber to detox the bile coming out of the liver and then a little bit of organic honey crisp apple which is compounding on that so i'll go into slightly more detail for each of these components so with the protein you get uh, the amino acids some minerals the healthy fat saturated fat and cholesterol just the minimal amount that we need choline stuff like that's needed for the function of the liver, the B vitamins that are very important for detoxing. That's what's in the protein. And the starch and the fibers function, you're feeding the gut bacteria, which is very important to have the healthy microbiome to inhibit candida overgrowth, which usually happens in states of toxicity. Uh, so you need to give the probiotic something to be eating and then the fiber is gonna help soak the toxins that are in that bile that the liver releases when you eat every single meal. So starch, fiber, very important. A little bit of sugar, which also serves as a function. Every single kind of nutritional molecule, if, if that probably a better term for it, but can be used in some way for liver detox. Like the liver can use carbs to detox. It can use glucose. It can use fructose. It can use B1. It can use zinc. There, there's a lot of different stuff that the liver can use to detox. And that's why we include stuff like the Honeycrisp apple, which has a little more sugar in there. So we did a video on these collagen pancakes, a, a few months ago if you guys want to check that recipe but uh, we're kind of back to that for breakfast for now supplement wise i'm just taking vitamin c b complex and uh, the natural probiotic and some zinc i forgot to put the, the vitamin c here is this going to topple over now that i have four on here <laughs> uh i guess that works yeah so i'm not sure if i took too many metals like minerals or metals so i've been really taking a lot of zinc magnesium and uh like molybdenum and and stuff to detox the copper so i'm kind of taking a break from that this week and i'm focusing on the gut health with these vitamin c b complex probiotic and vitamin k2 i don't know if you can see the vitamin k2 this might be blocking it, but vitamin k2 to hypothetically you know, put all the magnesium and calcium I've been taking in the right place. And that's also why I'm eating some prosciutto that's high in sodium because uh, I might have depleted my salt a little bit by having so much calcium and magnesium. But hey, if you're not getting, if there's a way to put sodium in your diet, I think prosciutto would be the nicest, most enjoyable way to do it. So yeah, we got all those, we got all those supplements right here. I'm um, taking four of the vitamin K2. I'm taking two B complex, one vitamin C, and five of the probiotic. I'm still trying to figure out how much of the probiotic to take each meal to feel my best. Um, I think it's between four and six pills is what works. All that stuff, guys, is on organsupplements.com. The new prosciutto thinly sliced is available on the me website. We got the new like Italian Burkle slicer, which is super expensive because um, it gets the meat so paper thin. Uh, which I've been really looking forward to. Look, we got this this whole this whole sheet of like really thinly sliced prosciutto. Really, really delicious. We'll have that with the pancakes. Wash it down with some Mountain Valley mineral water. And then we'll probably take some of the male virility just for testosterone and energy because in the state of liver toxicity in my current health state, you know, your body doesn't produce an optimal amount of testosterone, so um, it's definitely needed. And then we'll wrap the meal up with some mastic gum, to just try to push the food through and keep the gut motility high. But that's everything. Um, it's, it's really late, my schedule's so messed up, guys. So I'm gonna try to eat this, lay out in the sun for like half an hour, an hour, and then I gotta uh, get over to the warehouse and do a little bit of work. Like, I was up from uh, like 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. because I, I or 8 a.m. because I, I got I went to bed early than I usually do. I went to bed at like 10 p.m. like reasonable time for once, but I didn't finish all the work I had to do. So when I got up to like use the bathroom at three, I just went to do work on my computer for four hours, 
then I was so tired at seven, eight in the morning, I just went back to bed for a few hours and now it's like 1.30 and it was a beautiful day. So I wish I would check the weather. I would have probably just slept outside in my backyard for a few hours just to get the sun. Cause with all the crap they're spraying in the air now, most of the time, like if there's a day with sun, I got to prioritize getting some actual sun. I do like using the tanning bed, but the tanning bed is like really strong and I can only do it for so long, but I'll stop yapping. I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast. Can't forget the organic maple syrup, guys. Forgot to mention all of these products, anything you see I'm eating, prosciutto meat website, pancakes, frankystrangefoods.com. We even have apples on the foods website. So everything you guys see, the maple syrup, frankystrangefoods.com, you guys can get. And all the businesses are on frankdestefano.com if you guys would like to support me before I completely lose it. So we'll see you guys for lunch. Let me touch on this prosciutto real quick just because I enjoy it so much and it's so delicious. It looked lean enough for what I'm currently doing. A little bit of fat on it, but not enough for me to worry about taking it off. Now, San Daniel prosciutto, they use a little less salt and it's aged for a longer period of time. So it's, it's like the highest quality Italian prosciutto that you can get. And, and some of you guys can confirm this, but you know, let me know what San Daniel prosciutto costs near you or on other online sources, and I'll make sure we have the best price because a lot of the time you get prosciutto and it's super expensive, but that's just like regular prosciutto. It's not San Daniel. San Daniel, I have you supposed to say. I'm Italian, but I'm not really, I don't consider myself Italian because I don't speak a word of Italian, but um, this is, <laughs> bro, that Barstool Pizza review, uh, this is the real fucking Guinea shit. That's, that's how I would put this. This is really delicious. I'm gonna teach you how to say it so you feel it. You walk in, you see the stuff that I'm making. This is the real fucking guinea shit given to me. I can say that? Yeah. I'm a Jewish guy, I'm, I this, can still say it. You, no. This is the real guinea shit given to me. This is the real fucking guinea shit. This is the real fucking guinea shit given me. That's how you say it. All right. When my liver is completely recovered and my kidneys can handle this, see like this, this strip of fat, I'm gonna take a little bit off here just for my diet, but. When my liver's fully recovered, and I'm eating prosciutto every morning with like biscotti and espresso, you guys are gonna have to uh, pry the the haram pork from me, from my cold dead hands, because this is too good. Not to be, not to be insensitive, but have the Muslims tried prosciutto or Iberico ham? Have they? You know, have that. Is there some secret Saudi vault full of prosciutto and they're just hiding it from us? All right, let me stop before I get canceled. All right, guys, we're here for lunch at dinner time. It's like 7.30. I think that K2 dose was a little high. I wasn't feeling so good, uh, but maybe that wasn't it. It could just really be just the heat, the humidity, and the, uh, the radiation at the warehouse with all my guys' cell phones and stuff. So we pretty much have the same meal as last week. I'm trying to remember what protein we had. I think we might have the local ground beef. Uh, today we're having the local fresh porterhouse. I just deboned it. Maybe like four to five ounces of meat is, is what I usually shoot for uh, with lunch. Can't really eat as much protein with the liver damage, but I still try to have a good amount of protein in every meal. And then even if I'm not having protein, there is uh, high quality collagen uh, as the protein source instead of like the act, like because collagen is amino acid, so I'm having amino acid instead of protein, but it's still kind of the same thing. We got the tortilla fried flatbread as our starch source. We got the white bean puree as the fiber source, but same meal format we've been doing, guys. Small amount of protein for the nutrition, the starch and the fiber to soak the toxins from the liver, and then the additional glucose and fructose in the apple to soak more toxins from the liver, uh, as well as to feed the gut bacteria, and uh, the volume is also very important. If you're eating a lot of dense foods, like dense bread, dense meat, it helps to have like higher volume fruits and stuff to kind of add some bulk to the digestive system and not like not be as dehydrated and stuff. Supplement wise, we're just doing one B complex and I'm going to take like six of the probiotic because I think I'm going to pig out on some sorbet after we eat lunch. I'm not feeling too hungry. Last few days I was very hungry. But I guess now that I've been having breakfast and I got my sodium in check a little bit, I'm not 
I'm not as hungry. We've got the Fuji bottle of mineral water to wash it all down. Forgot if I showed you for breakfast, but we always have about half a teaspoon of mastic gum powder at the end of every meal. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. I gotta drive back to the warehouse. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to do something at work. So I'm gonna eat, drive back, work for a little longer, and then get home at nine o'clock. I'm, I'm losing my mind, guys. I don't know what to do with myself. But uh, yeah, pretty much same as last week. So I won't go too much into this. Maybe we'll do uh, a recipe on these tortillas soon. Maybe an update on the wiping puree. Uh, but. We did a video on the, the probiotic this week. If you guys want to watch that and learn more about the probiotic and the other supplements we have newly available on OregonSupplements.com. I guess I'll touch real quick on, I, I switched over to the B complex instead of the B1 because uh, I've been having some like neurotransmitter issues or I'm, I'm guessing maybe some of the issues I'm experiencing might be related to the B vitamins. So uh, it's safer for me to just switch over to the B complex formulation, which has all of the B vitamins in like the correct ratio. So, so instead of me just taking B1 with every meal, I switch over to the B complex. Uh, but as I stated earlier, it might just be too, mu too much minerals. And the, the best case scenario, and I've spoken about this before, is you wanna have the minimal amount of nutrition in your body to not be deficient. Because your body has to store all those minerals and vitamins somewhere. So if I need to deplete like my calcium and magnesium, whatever. If I need to deplete my nutrition stores to feel better, that also that also might like free up basically some cellular space, and I just have uh, just more healthy healthy proteins and stuff instead of being bogged down with a lot of metals in my liver. But I'll stop yapping and I'll see you guys for dinner. All right, guys. So we're back for dinner with my uh, dishwasher running in the background. I was gonna pull it open to stop it while filming this, but I pulled on a little bit and the whole thing shifted. I was like, you know what? I'm going broke fixing everything in this house in my warehouse. Give me another month or two of this dishwasher, please. But anyway, this is our usual udon noodle bowl. Very plain, very bland. Um, I don't usually enjoy this meal, but it's uh, pretty important on the scale of liver detox because the protein amount is minimal. We just have a few tablespoons of the collagen bone broth from Frankie syringe. We, we have some white bean puree in here for soluble fiber, but it's really just a lot of starch to kind of uh, soak the toxins coming out of the liver, especially you know throughout the night when I'm sleeping. We have the organic honey crisp apple kind of for dessert, some more volume. We're gonna make sure to have the mastic come at the end of the meal, as well as some activated charcoal to just up a little bit and soak the toxins. Supplement wise, we're just gonna do eh, maybe like three or four of the natural probiotics. Uh, I try to not take really anything near dinner time just to, to sleep as, as good as possible. Uh, from like a vitamin or mineral perspective, we, we keep all that out. So yeah, you guys have seen this. This has been my most consistent meal probably going on a few years now. You know, we mess around a little bit with breakfast and lunch, but for the most part, this has always stayed the same. Sometimes I'll I'll cook some protein if I'm really hungry and I'll, I'll add some meat in here, but most of the time it's just this. And my portion sizes are like out of control. Like I weigh so much food, I got it. I'm trying to get a little bit more on top of it and not cook as much. Uh, but sometimes, you know, it's, it's obviously just easier to cook the whole package and just measurement wise. But like I'm probably only gonna eat like half of this. Uh, that that food you guys saw me have for lunch, I had most of the steak and about half the bread. So you know, my stomach isn't as big as, as the food you guys are seeing in front of me, which is good. It's an indicator that you know I'm digesting better, and and your body shouldn't really need that that high of a volume of food. But I'm gonna enjoy my dinner, guys. And. Uh, That'll be it. So if you guys check out all the businesses on frank com, you'll see everything that I've had today that I do for my own health, whether it's the meat on the Frankie Syringe Meat website, all the other miscellaneous stuff on the Frankie Syringe Foods website, and all the supplements are on OregonSupplements.com. So as always, guys, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. 
make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell and see you guys for the next video.